diabetes diabetes today is become as common as a common cold or rather common cold has become less common than diabetes we see so many of our friends family members struggling with diabetes and we don't know how to help them because we have been told that once a diabetic always a diabetic and this statement is far from the truth in fact it's super misleading just the word diabetes runs a shiver down our spine because we've been told that diabetes is kind of a disease which kills us but in this world every effect has an underlying cause so if diabetes is the effect the underlying cause is poor lifestyle wrong eating habits and lack of mindfulness and just as there is a mechanism to become a diabetic there is also one to reverse it but that can only happen once we stop treating diabetes at the symptom level and dig deeper to find the root cause so that we can bring back the balance and homeostasis in our body you can take a pill to reduce your sugar levels and feel that your diabetes is under control but by reducing the sugar levels all you're doing is just killing the messenger let me explain you this you see a house where there is smoke coming out of the window because there's fire burning now what will you do will you put out the smoke or will you put out the fire definitely you'll put out the fire and then the smoke will go away on its own but with diabetes what we do is we try to cut the sugar kill the sugar in our blood which is the smoke which is trying to tell you hey there listen there is a slow fire burning within and you need to take care of this because it can get bigger and stronger if you don't and what we do is we take the pill we shut down the sugar levels we cut it down our sugars come normal but the fire keeps becoming stronger and bigger inside affecting and damaging all other parts and organs of our body and this is why the diabetes fear is for real also a lot of people believe that genetics play a very important role in developing diabetes now we may all have the genes for developing certain health issues but not that we develop it all what activates your gene to develop a certain health problem is the environmental and lifestyle factors now let me explain you this again with an example think of two siblings from the same parents who have similar gene pool of their parents but one develops diabetes and the other sibling does not develop diabetes throughout their lifetime isn't this enough to tell us that genetics are alone not enough to make you a diabetic you know we put our body through a lot of wrong things in our day to day life like inadequate nourishment emotional pain excess stress not the right habits which are conducive for our body but our body still doesn't give up on us in fact it has a lot of sophisticated survival mechanisms so that we can keep going and we do not collapse in no circumstances our body feels happy to make us suffer or make us feel miserable in any way like in case of type 1 diabetics it's not just one day that the pancreatic cells want to stop producing insulin because they don't feel like or in type 2 diabetes it's not that your 60 trillion cells in the body stop responding to insulin because they just are not in the mood of in both the cases your cells are trying to protect themselves from further damage so that we don't get bigger and bigger problems in our body and in this way diabetes then takes over and eventually if we don't take care of it it becomes into a bigger problem so we can protect ourselves from any of this kind of damage by the way we eat and live and reprogram them and bring them back to life to help them function at their optimal level so in short what i want to tell you is that there is hope and you can very well reverse your diabetes and put your sweetness back into your cells again by just changing the way you live and by taking care of yourself in my next video we're going to talk about what is diabetes exactly and what are its types